Hey everyone and welcome back to another vlog. I feel like this is going to be the last vlog before Christmas. Now I'm actually going to vlog Christmas this year because it'll hopefully be a bit brighter. Obviously I think last year was the first Christmas I didn't film in like four or five years because my granddad was passing away and it was really raw and he was deteriorating and he ended up passing on Boxing Day which is why I obviously didn't because I was literally in like the worst place in my life and I couldn't film Christmas because Christmas didn't exist last year basically. But this year we're trying to turn things around. It's going to be brighter. It's going to be hard at moments for sure but um i'm gonna try and capture some of the good mo moments and talk about the bad times too aiden back there barney's just put his coat on we're gonna go out mum dad barney and so my little cousin sophie and we're gonna go out and have a wander around london look at the christmas lights i had a couple of you message me on instagram about getting capturing some of the christmas lights for the vlog so that is what is going to happen today which is nice maybe get some last few minutes bits and bobs for christmas along the way yeah it'll just be nice to just have a really long walk in the, the cold weather i've got like a, a lovely blue and orange contrast situation going on here and i actually really like it like i just love fun color it brings me happiness money show everyone your coat money show everyone your coat you look so coat. handsome still looking snowy outside We've come in this little shop that me and Aiden tried to come in the other day. It's got some really cool gifts in. I'll see if I can find the name and I'll pop it on screen because I didn't look again. Um, but we got evacuated the other day because the fire alarm went off like one minute in. So it's nice to actually like have a quick look. It's like some fun little things like good if you were doing like secret Santa or something like that. Or just wanted to get someone like a unique quirky gift that probably isn't in a lot of shops. But I'll show you like rogue things like this. Good morning, so it was so nice seeing my family yesterday. They actually didn't end up getting home for like five hours on the motorway. I think it was just because it was getting close to Christmas. It was literally like the last Saturday before Christmas. So I feel like London was so rammed and Barney hated his life. Like he really doesn't deal well in London. So I don't think we might take him out anymore in Central because I think he's just used to being, obviously where my family live is like really quiet. So then when he is here, it's like serious sensory overload. And I think he feels like goes into fight or flight basically. Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't the easiest of days with it and bless him. Me and Aiden just didn't order because there was like a 50% off code for like Uber Eats on groceries. So we managed to get like loads of shit for £14 and we're going to make some breakfast. We've got some things as well later. We're going to make some mulled wine. Um, as you can tell, I'm, pro I'm potentially getting this cold that everyone's got. I'm praying that I don't and it's just like a, just a couple of days thing rather than the full on flu. Um, but yeah, we've got orange juice and oranges. We're going to go grab a bottle of red wine and then we've got everything for the mulled wine. If you saw last week's vlog, I basically found like a really cute little like mulled wine kit with all like the spices and things you need in like a charity shop. It was really cool. So we're going to do that later on. And then we've got some bagels. Aiden got some sausages. I'm just doing avocado and scrambled egg on, on the bagels. Uh, we've got a Yule log so we could have a little Christmassy treat later on some fresh avocados for me and we've got some rice because we're going to make a Thai green curry this evening for dinner um, and then we've got a couple of snacky bits so some Doritos and then some orange squash let's make some brekkie relationship with food and with fitness was not even in the forefront of my mind it was just i just want to lose weight guys right, so i am just checking that the episode with rosie is all good for tomorrow morning sunday evening now we're just about to make like a late dinner we're gonna have tiger and curry like i said earlier so i'm just about to chop up the vegetables aiden's gone to get some wine from the shop so we can make mulled wine afterwards which i'm very very excited about but like i really want to catch up on celebs go dating we've been watching christmas films the past couple of days so i kind of want to watch something super super easy not that christmas films aren't easy but i just kind of want to catch up with that celebs go dating because i really connected with anna williamson the other week when i went to her talk and i just really like her so so, yeah, I'd, I'd never watched Celebs Go Dating before and I actually find it quite interesting and I love like a couple of the people on there like Pete Wicks, like I've always been a huge fan of him, like TV personality I guess. 
so yeah that's what i'm thinking but i'm just making sure that episode's all ready to go live because it's my final episode of season one so i've uploaded 28 episodes i meant to upload 30 but a couple of blips and things happen along the way but we're fit we've finished season one just before christmas i don't want to upload too much over christmas because i want everyone to be able to enjoy their time with their family no one will be wanting to listen to my annoying voice during the festive season so i will be back in january if you do listen to the podcast like i have so many amazing guests already lined up already recorded for season two and they are amazing they've spoken about incredible topics so far relived some of their traumas shared their stories and hopefully will help a lot of people out there so i'm very excited for that to launch uh, I think that'll probably be a couple of weeks into January, maybe even after the first week of January. So I'm really buzzing about that. But yeah, go and check out this last episode with Rosie. I feel like we've gone out with a bang. Rosie's amazing. If you don't follow her already, you should go and follow her on Instagram and TikTok. She does a lot of like self-love posts, talking about realistic like fitness goals and looking after yourself, self-love, self-care, all the good vibes. And I'm just absolutely... I was absolutely obsessed recording this podcast. I'm just listening to it before I upload it, just to make sure it's all good and all edited well. And yes, I'm just listening to that in the background whilst I'm chopping the veg. Morning, so it's Monday. I've actually been really on it with taking my vitamins every day because everyone is ill at the minute and I want to stay far, as far away from that as possible. Um, so yeah, I've been taking vitamin D, B12, vitamin C, um, and like collagen and zinc. And we're just about to head to Lash and Brow Lab in Clapham. I'm just about to jump on the bus and go get our lashes and brows done. I'm getting hybrid lashes and HD brows. I'm really excited. I'm going to try and film as much as I can in there. Um, but the lovely Demi and Rachel are going to be sorting me out. I feel like after today, I'm going to feel like a whole new woman for Christmas in this festive period. I feel like it's so nice being able to wake up and having like my brows and lashes, feeling fresh and sexy without any effort. Like that is just the dream. Work smarter, not harder. Hello. So I don't think I actually filmed yesterday. I'm so, so happy with both my brows and lashes. I think they look absolutely incredible, especially now that I've got makeup on today. I'm like, yes. It literally took me five minutes to do my makeup instead of 10 minutes. So it literally half the time it, ooh. Yeah, half the time it took to do my makeup which I really underestimated like how easy and convenient that is for day-to-day -day life so yeah I'm feeling really happy and very thankful that Lash and Brow Lab let me come and if you're ever in the area or if you're in London and you're struggling to find a good lash and brow technician go there and their studio is so lovely too it's in a really nice location on Lavender Hill and I know a lot of like I thought I found it quite daunting like coming to London and being like well where do I go now for any of the beauty treatments that I usually went for at home because you know you find your like regulars and where I'm from it's like a really small town so I yeah was a bit overwhelmed by the amount of choices and didn't know where's good where's not so it's nice to have found like a new place that's not too far from me that I can go to regularly now and yeah they are the girls in there are so lovely and sometimes salon, salon environments can be very bitchy and judgmental and it was just such good vibes so yeah I can recommend it enough I've been recording all morning um I thought I would get some last minute videos shot that I wanted to do before Christmas and that I can edit over the Christmas period just get it all shot today and then I don't have to worry about it and don't have to put too much makeup on my face over the Christmas period so yeah that's what I've been doing today I'm just about to jump on a call with two lovely girls who run like an editing business I believe I'm gonna talk to them about potentially hiring my first ever person to edit some content for me for my podcast I feel like it's taken up a lot of my time and I want to obviously like invest some money into it to like push it to make it better for you guys to watch as well because I know so many people including myself that prefers prefers visual content like I'll listen to podcasts when I'm like commuting or going somewhere when I'm on my own but I do love sitting down like in my flat and having a podcast physically on like on the tv or on my laptop so I want that content to be available to you to also watch like on YouTube if that's something that you'd be interested in and if not I still want that visual content for like TikTok YouTube shorts instagram reels so that people can see it in other ways as well and grasp the attention of people because so many of my podcast episodes are good but i feel like i'm really shit at promoting them because it takes up a lot of my time so yeah that this seems like a really good business idea for me so i'm gonna see if these girls are like right on my street and if they would be able to create my style of content that i am looking for and um, yeah exciting times it feels like a little bit of pressure and a little bit of stress but 
I can always give it a go, try and never, you know, I feel like that's the only way you're going to learn in these situations and just ha take a bit of a risk, which is a bit stressful, like when I've been feeling a bit of financial strain the past couple of months and yeah, just been a bit worried about that. So it's, it's going to take a little bit of a into my savings but ho hopefully it'll be a learning curve regardless of the results and feel like if I'm not going to do it now when am I going to do it so yeah that's what we're planning on doing I'm just about to jump on that call now and yeah I'll chat to you guys after we've got the bus to Borough Market today I did some editing this morning and now we're just having an exploring day we're gonna go try and get some food in the market it's quite busy considering it's a Wednesday in the middle of the day So I went from these for these chicken gyozas. I've tried the vegan ones from the same stall before. It's called Jolie, and then Aiden's gone for this like chicken bowl it's that's out. kind of gone, but it's very flavorful. Like I just had a little spoonful, and it was really good. But we're at the Alpine Terrace at the Intercom. Yeah, so I've met Ellie and Jack, and we've come here for dinner tonight. <gasps> How cute! <laughs> what are we cheersing to? To life. To CJE. If you can't come in there, or come on or that one. <laughs> So we're at number one Park Lane Alpine Chalet. We actually haven't decided what we're having for food. But yeah, so we've got some champagne to start, which is very fancy. And not something that, I don't know about you guys, but I'm not used to. <laughs> no. Um, and then we've got small plates. So we're gonna have like starters, mains and desserts. And I honestly have no idea what I'm gonna go for. So here's the menu in case anyone wants to have a little look. Obviously it's a bit more bougie, but actually no, it's reasonably priced for a bougie, yeah, for a bougie spot. So. Like, especially when it's like this stunning as well. Like if you wanted to come out for like a fancy Christmas meal. Or a day, like imagine a if you're day, taking your oh. girlfriend to like, or boyfriend to the theatre and then you pop here for drinks and like, it's the nibbles. Oh, you, and like the cheese three fondue. Meat, three courses you're looking for about six pounds. And that's what yeah. I'm Went to Wonderland, over the road. I mean, you True, yeah. Does this close yeah. then after winter? Like, or how, like, how long do you yeah, know? Yeah, they do chef takeovers. So they had Alex Webb, who won. Two seconds. Alex Webb, um, who won Master Chef. He did like a takeover here. And so that people do like residencies here where they like take it over. Oh, and, like, that's cute. Like, Lovely, and it's on the little corner. So our starters have arrived. We've gone for, I actually cannot remember the name of it, but it's basically something rusty. So it's got like potatoes, mushrooms, cheese, and something else I can't remember. And Jack's gone for. Charcuterie. Lord, it does look phenomenal. It's very rich, do you know what I mean? Like rich in content. Mm. I mean, I wasn't expecting there to be so much on the board. Presents are all wrapped and underneath the Christmas tree. So me and Aiden are potentially going to have our Christmas for us two tonight. Um, I know a lot of like couples go and do family stuff together and like go from one house to the other and we are going to be doing a lot of that over Christmas but like for Christmas Eve we're going to Aiden's grandparents for like part of the day and then they're coming back to Aiden's for Christmas Day which they haven't done in literally like three or four years which is so exciting for them and it'll be really nice for me to see them as well because they're like L London based then we're all going to travel back together and for those of you that don't know me and Aiden have been together for like nine and a half years yeah it'll be 10 years next in July so obviously like we grew up together like we went to school together hence our families are, live really close so we'll be able to flip between the two over at Christmas which I'm really grateful for I'm very thankful for that as well because I've built obviously like a really strong relationship with Aiden's family like growing up too so it'll be nice to spend like literally half and half time between us but sometimes I'm gonna just be at mine and Aiden's gonna be at his for me Christmas is family time and like although obviously Aiden and Aiden's family is my family as well like I want to see my nan my mum my dad, my brother, like all of them as much as I can over Christmas because I literally live with Aiden now especially so it even seems correct for me to just spend time with my family, you know? I'll snap some clips along the way just because I really like watching my Christmas vlogs back and last year I literally didn't vlog at Christmas like I said because my granddad was like basically dying and obviously I was not going to vlog that time like wasn't even in my radar to pick up my camera because I felt the shittest I've ever felt in my whole entire life so yeah it'll be nice to have like a nice Christmas to look back on and ca capture these memories because these are the times of years now in adulthood where you see like all of your loved ones in the same space it's really really rare now where you're all at home at the same time 
and it's like something like it's like a sad reality like a harsh reality when you grow up and you don't get to see everyone that you used to all the time you know like so yeah i'm gonna really treasure this this time at home and every time i can remember to pick up the camera i will but i'm getting really good at like living in the moment and i forget to sometimes snap it don't know why i had that chat i thought just in case anyone else needs to hear it that is the struggles of being an adult and finding time to get together with your family is really tough or like your loved ones like whether that's friends like it doesn't have to be family i know sometimes family shit is even worse at christmas the last day of vlogmas before christmas day i feel like we should open my last few days of my advent calendar i haven't done this in the vlog this year jack and ellie actually opened some in my last vlog but the cor the file corrupted so i never ended up getting to show you anything from this advent calendar but it's the holland and Marek conscious beauty advent calendar which i feel like is such a cool idea and i'm just gonna open the rest of them because i'm only gonna be here for today and then i'm off but with my family for Christmas. So. so in 19, we've got some jojoba oil for the face. Always needed with my dry ass skin. I feel like that is my catchphrase. Like I feel like I say it in every video that my skin is dry as fuck. In number 20, we have, oh, this is handsomely wrapped up. <gasps> oh my gosh. <laughs> Amazing, I'm very, very happy with that. In 21, we have a Yumi Neem and Tea Tree face mask little face mask situation in 22 this is a bit heavier actually oh my god aroma works candle lemongrass and bergamot this smells phenomenal all of my candles have just run out like i've been burning them so much in the evenings because i find it so calming and relaxing so literally for christmas i've been like if no one knows what to get me please get me a candle like i feel like a candle is a cop-out present years ago you know like when you're like oh what the fuck do i get someone i'll just get them a candle i feel like it was a cop-out present but for me like i genuinely want them so badly because i burn them all the time especially now the evening's getting darker i feel like my candles are like burning through even quicker because i'm having them on for longer so yeah i'm really happy with this and the lemongrass scent is so strong like amazing if you ever get to smell this in real life please do because it's so pungent no pungent sounds bad aromatic then these last two are quite big so for 24 we have oh faith in nature dragon fruit body wash aiden will be very happy about that and then 25 oh wow it's welder skin food body lotion skin food body lotion deeply nourishing intensive moisturization dry to very dry skin what did i say maybe that's why they sent me it because they knew my dry crusty skin is in need of every single moisturizing product possible so very very happy with those bits from holland and barrett just in case you're interested and want to try them out next year i'm, <gasps> I'm waiting for aiden to come home so that we can binge watch the traitors i finally started it everyone was raving about it and i was like right i need to i need to watch this and we watched like three episodes yesterday and i'm like i'm hooked i can't stop thinking about it i literally went to bed last night and i didn't want to sleep because i wanted to watch it all night long this is why i can't get into anything nice because i just become so addictive like my personality is like I want to watch every single episode right now like and know exactly what happens like it's not it's not a normal response yeah i'm trying to do things just for myself to relax because i can't i literally cannot stop thinking about it and i just want aiden to be home immediately so we can watch it <laughs> but, but yeah anyway that is the plan when aiden gets back i want to watch the traitors for a few, for the whole day before we make our mulled wine and exchange our presents I've also received my December Degusta box, the last Degusta box of the year. I actually can't believe how many years I've had these now. But as always, there will be a link down below if you want to get your first box for cheap. Inside this month's box, we've got some Dorset cereals. This is the hazelnut and dark chocolate crunch. We've got some chicken stock from Noor. Munchies, gooey caramel and biscuit sharing bar. Plantastic flapjack, sweet apricot and ginger with almonds. We've got Kit Kat bites these snacks going to be good for later and um, we've actually got some spicy dip with smooth roasted red peppers and smooth smoky aubergine we've also got a heinz rosemary and balsamic um like dressing for veggies we've got a non-alcoholic mold wine we're actually making mold wine tonight but i want we want to make real mold wine we've got merlot for that but um yeah good good to know that there are non-alcoholic options out there for those who don't drink or are trying to stay sober over the christmas period then we've also got vadam india turmeric sampler herbal teas i'm loving a herbal tea at the minute to soothe my soul and then finally we've got this which is the leekum key cooking sauce collection it has loads of different things now like oyster sauce yellow bean sauce all of that jazz thank you very much to gusto like i said code down below i'm just currently trying to tidy my this table because right now it's looking a little bit crazy crazy just tidy everything up so it's all nice and fresh and we don't have to come back to a shithole after christmas <laughs> right we're episode six on the traitors and we're just about to open our presents from each other right i'm gonna give you one to open first i mean you no but it might not want to be on camera 
Is it flesh like? No. It's like I can see the love honey logo. Okay. Bear. I remember I said I wanted this. That's our New Year's resolution is to use our cookbooks. Yeah. Bring vegetables in parmesan broth and charred lemon salsa. Oh, and we're making it good so far. <laughs> no way. <anyway. laughs> Yay! Oh. Some more prints in my thing. Things, oh. but it's a mini photo album. Oh my god. <laughs> What the fuck? Aiden said he wanted new slippers, so I got him <laughs> dinosaur ones. I used to, I bought you like orca ones, didn't I, when we were probably like four, 15 or something, but Ennett, they're like really cozy and snug. <laughs> so you're gonna have to walk around in those. They literally just fit perfectly. Oh really, they're size 11 to 12 as well. I went for the even bigger size because I thought. Like so. <laughs> no way. They're so cool. So cute. And it's a goober candle. It's like 40 hours. Well. Smell this I got from my um, advent calendar. It's lemongrass and bergamot. I said it reminded me of like the barley tea. Oh, I'm so happy with it's that It's unscented, goober. but it's because it, it looks weird. We are on the last episode of The Traitors. We have literally been watching all day. But we're just about to make some old wine for the last episode. So we've got our Merlot. We don't actually know what the best wine, I don't know if there is like a best wine to use for old wine because I've never actually made it at home before. But we're going to give this a go. We'll let you know what we think. Um, and then we need orange juice and oranges. And then finally, I've got my little mold wine kit, which if you haven't seen in the last vlog, got us from a charity shop. It's really sick. The Mulling Spice. It smells amazing, actually. And the cinnamon sticks. There's a muslin cloth here. Then 250ml of orange juice. Cinnamon stick, sugar, a muslin bag containing 30 grams of muslin spice. Put the spices in. And then we need to put in, cut the orange into flat slices and add to the pan into the mixture and now I'm just about to heat and then it's ready to serve as long as you don't boil it says after the wine has cut to temperature it's ready to serve remove the muslin bag pour into cups and enjoy if there's any left over reheat as required they say for an extra kick why not add a dash of your favorite tipple interesting no thanks we haven't tried the mold wine yet but it smells incredible final episode is on and ready I'm gonna just sip our mold wine and watch this not very Christmassy, but still very fucking good.